Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name is, of course, Seesaw or Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2019. How's it going, everyone? Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I finally feel better, and it's so nice. Um, I, I felt like I was sick for, like, ever, and I, I don't actually think it was that long, uh, but it is nice to be recovered um, it, I don't know, it's just nice to be able to breathe again. It's, it's sleep, I think, that's the worst part about being sick, because your body really wants to sleep, but it's so hard to sleep when you, your nose is plugged, and your th sore throat, and, like, you're coughing all the time. I find it to be a very vicious cycle, because then you, you kind of stay up, um, and that ultimately makes you feel worse, so, you know, we're done with it. Uh, but you've probably been sitting there and wondering what has Chris been up to in Final Fantasy XIV. Well, I've been up to a few different things. Um, I have been trying to progress my main scenario quests a bit. Um, I've gotten to a point where, um, and I, I want to frame this as well as I can, like, this is not at all a negative, like, experience, really. Um, there is just a, a tremendous amount of main scenario quests to get through. Um, and I'm trying to really take my time and enjoy them as much as I can. Uh, but I do want to get through them and experience the later parts of the game as well. So I I'm kind of, you know, just struggling with how many there are to do, despite the fact I I've enjoyed doing them. So it it's kind of a an interesting case that way. Um, and then I, I was fairly discouraged by how much higher level I am compared to the main scenario quests, and I, I believe that this is quite a common thing. It just doesn't feel as good because you don't get as much experience um, for actually completing the quests, and it's like, hey, I could, you know, run a duty or a dungeon or whatever and get a tremendous amount more experience, but I do need to do these quests anyway, so it, it kind of had a bit of an issue that way as well. And it's not an issue. Like, I, I do enjoy the quest, I enjoy the system, it, it's just hard because you feel so locked into it. I think I'll really enjoy my second character and third character and stuff like that, where I, I can go about doing some quests if I want, but also I can just focus on doing some dungeons for a while as well. So I think that'll be a bit more freedom, which I'll enjoy, whereas right now I feel very constrained about what I should do. Um, but in terms of freedom and constraint, let's talk about what I also did in game, and I kind of broke one of my own rules. And I, I don't know why I had this rule. <laughs> I kept on saying, hey, I want to, you know, explore all the different features in Final Fantasy XIV and truly enjoy the game for what it is. Like, that, that's been one of my biggest stances going through this game, and one of the biggest stances I try to bring to any MMO I try. Um, but I was saying that, and then I was also like, let's try and avo avoid any alternative jobs, um, like combat jobs, and just focus on Archer so that we can get that, you know, max level as quick as, quick as we can. Um, because I was like, you know, I didn't want to get wasting my time trying out all these different jobs and not have anyone max level. But as time's gone on, I've realized that's not what's going to limit me it's the main scenario quests that are limiting me. So why don't I go and try some, some other jobs? Why don't I try one of the things that makes Final Fantasy XIV such a unique MMO, your ability to actually change jobs on the same character? So guess what we did? <laughs> um, I, I did decide to try a different job. Um, I'm trying the Arcanist, um, and I believe that's the right pronunciation. Um, I remember I, I used to call this the Arcanist, or no, what did I, the Anarchist is what I called it the first time. And you guys got, I don't know, I misread it. You know, it was, it was fun. It was funny. Um, but the Arcanist, um, I, I've been very interested in them for a while, because as far as I understand it, they're the only job that actually branches, um, at which point I believe you become, you become either a scholar or a summoner. And that's appealing as well, because you have kind of that healing aspect, but you also have um, a DPS class with pets, which I find really cool as well. And I was like, let's give it a try. Let's, um, let's level with it for a bit. 
originally my plan was to um, switch to this different job and then continue the main scenario quests and get some experience for this job. And that still might be the ultimate goal that I do with this job, but I did run into some initial difficulties because you're not able to do the main scenario quest if you're too low for them as well. So I've kind of got an issue where I've got one job that's much further ahead than the main scenario quests, and now I've got a new job that's much further behind. So I, I kind of want to get the... I, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I, I went and made this job, and then I switched over to my bard again and did some more main scenario quests. I think it is really fun how easily you can switch between them, and it does keep the um, combat and the, the play style, the play session, very fresh, which I do enjoy. Um, for instance, in WoW Classic, I'm enjoying my mage a lot, but I do have times where I'm like, ugh, I kind of wish I made my thief first, um, so I could be, you know, using s swords and doing close combat. And it would be really cool if I could switch to my thief for a bit, but then I'd have to start at level zero and I wouldn't be progressing my mage at all. Um, they're very separate entities. And although I do appreciate that style of MMO as well, because I've grown up with the idea of having alts and all that, I do like what... Um, Final Fantasy XIV brings to the table, whereas by progressing either the Arcanist or my Bard, I'm progressing the character, right? Like, eventually I, I will want to have a lot of these jobs maxed out, and by putting in the legwork at any point, I'm ultimately bringing myself forward towards that goal. Whereas in WoW Classic, um, I could get to an issue where I don't end up getting either of them to max level, because I just sort of start quitting them at like level 30 or 40 or something like that, and I've, I've spread myself too thin, something like that, right? So it is a nice compromise that way. Um, and in terms of the actual job itself, uh, you'll, you'll see me going through some of the very basic job quests. I, I really enjoyed how quickly you kind of level for the first five levels when you switch. Um, it's very like rewarding, and you're, you're seeing all these new skills, um, I got a heal right away, I got some dots, I got some direct damage, I got a pet, um, a really cool pet too. Um, not terribly strong or anything, but I do like the animations a lot. I like the feel of the skills, I like the way um, I can sort of balance healing and damage. I've been able to pull a lot bigger groups um, than I feel comfortable with on my bard, uh, because my bard does have a bit of healing, but not nearly to the extent that the Arcanist has, right? So I'm able to really work with bigger groups of people and um, ultimately do a lot more damage. And then in terms of actually healing, I could heal in duties, right? Like that that's something that's super exciting to me as well, and definitely the role that I was planning on trying next. Um, I think DPS is definitely a good place to start. Um, and I'm a little bit, you know, wary of becoming a tank right away, uh, though I do, like, I do like the look of the jobs. I just, I really personally feel like I should know the way through the dungeon before I'm going to go and tank it, because it, it's, it's kind of, like, although very doable, especially if you have a decent group who's nice and friendly, um, it's a lot more comfortable to do a dungeon if the tank knows his way through it, if he's able to lead, um, if he's kind of very confident with how he's walking, as opposed to second guessing and having DPS pull sometimes and stuff like that, it can get pretty messy. Like, you, we've all been in dungeons like that. Uh, so I'm very excited to try out healing as well. Um, and, and that being said, the actual summoner DPS spec um, interests me quite a bit. But yeah, I, I just thought it would be very good to try something different. Um, specifically, well, I, I wouldn't like to say I'm in a rut, but I'm, I'm very much in a, a place that I just have to focus on um, getting through the main scenario quest and having something to sort of spice things up. I think it's a really good way to um, treat that sort of section of the game. Uh, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to sharing my progress um, both through the main scenario quests and with the Arcanist job as I, or Arcanist job. I'm going to have, I'm going to say it weird sometimes. I'm just going to level a few. It's going to be one of those words for me. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.